Hey everybody, this is the Cappy Smack Morning Show where we wake up the apocalypse. So this morning I'm gonna make a new agent. You're probably wondering why make a new agent? Because every time you do, you get extra stash storage when you hit level 30. And my primary agent is at a good place. I don't have the perfect build. There isn't a such thing. But I do have a build that works. And I can continue to refine and whatnot. And he's almost maxed out all three specializations. And so now it's time to start over. Just to let you know where I'm going with the channel a little bit. Starting around uh, April 23rd, there's going to be a new update for Elite Dangerous, and I wanted to check it out. Been doing Elite for you know, about two years. Got all the big ships, got all the small ships. Haven't been to the Galactic Core, don't plan on going. need to go somewhere where it takes two weeks to get there. So, do I want to play with the boy, or do I want to play with the girl? No, no, I think I'm going to play as boys. So, let's see. Which head do I put on this guy? Give him an inquisitive. 
start all my guys out with uh, long hair because, you know, it's the apocalypse. What are you going to do? Start all my guys out with long hair. Ooh, I forgot to select it. I don't know why we have leg tattoos. Alright, so... I think this is where I can mix and match some of what I've gotten in the game. I've gotten more selection than this, so they're really not... They're really not, uh... Showing me everything. I don't think they show the premium items. Teach me to hit the wrong button. I was liking him. Everything I liked about the other guy, I'll like about this one. It's summertime. All right, now we'll confirm.
barricades, and have someone ready to patrol the other lookout for stragglers. Some of those bastards got away. I didn't expect them to be attacked so soon. You okay? If this keeps up, we're gonna have to be located. Come on, come on. How many of this? We're shut up. She's gonna protect everyone here. For granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the train stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did you need her? Someone survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we helped each other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas preying on the weak. They made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They unite us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who could say it was that? It's been seven months since the outbreak. We still live in fear of the virus, the green poison. The real danger is out there, waiting.
emergency channel. Flash priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have reached the southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. Played some heroic bounties, not by choice, kind of by accident. Pretty intense. I don't think there's a build available in the game that would keep you alive.
Oh, this is super tame. Get that fire out! Thanks, Thanks for the, the help, help out, out there. there. You should check, check in with, with Manny, our coordinator. Upstairs, upstairs in the blue room. And come, come by here, here if you, you ever need, need help, help with your, your tech. tech. Seems like they changed the look of the White House every time I play. Didn't really notice the refugees or the wounded soldiers in the foyer. Well, I imagine they could have always been there. This is you. you. Welcome, Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing, guessing the division will right here. here. Damn glad to see you. Let, Let me show you exactly how screwed you are. Ever since the JTF imploded, imploded, the city has become a playground for murderous, murderous fuckheads. fuckheads. There are there several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever they think God's miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against, against all this villainy. They need, they need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the division network went dark. dark. Um, that's, that's Kelso. Kelso. She's, She's one, one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's, She's operating, operating at the theater, theater settlement on a priority mission. mission. You should go, go check in with her. her. If anyone, anyone knows how to get the systems back online, online it's her. her. Oh, oh, and, um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll, It'll come for them to know. know. There's, There's a new, new sheriff, sheriff in town. By the way, agent, head, head downstairs, downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. He can get you set up with division tech. You're gonna need the edge. usually go with drones to begin with, but drones and seekers. Striker drone, useful. And another weapon.
Oh, not bad enough for two more. Another reason to have another character. But as you can tell, I've got complete sets of stuff. I can even be a black Tusculodite. Coordinated. There we go. One of my favorite shoes. some stuff. And I'm in my normal clan. Got some stuff in here. Let's see. I do have a MK17. All right, I'll take that. I had more gear, but. bounced it out. Come over here. Yep, I have a secondary weapon slot, so let me throw something in there. Um, I think I'm going to use the AUG. Military MK-17. The neighborhoods you'll be moving through are hiding in the territory. There are a bunch, bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable like kill for kids. kids. And they destroy whatever they can not steal for themselves. And they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given their situation, we need the help of the settlement. But they can't do much of the struggle to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the division has been the only thing holding people together. But where DC is the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not, not going to last long without support. support.
cars right off the bat, you can start getting gear if you know where to find it. This gear re uh, respawns. Do not disturb experience. I put up the do not disturb and I got someone in my group. This person is playing in my instance, probably doesn't even know that's the case. Most of the time I prefer to play alone. Unless I'm doing a bounty and then it can be it can be easier. Oh, I don't need to get all crazy about bounties. The neighborhoods you'll be moving through are highly in the territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. But they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given the situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much to struggle to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the division has been the only thing holding people together. But with DC as the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not going to last long without support. Oh, 
When I first started playing, I played fairly uh, defensively. My playstyle has changed, where I play aggressively. As soon as I get patience to my knee pads, now, now patience, I probably wouldn't play as aggressive. That's a pretty good gun, even without mods. The summer I've been in the game for maybe 10 minutes, I've almost got a full set of gear. played the game before, if I really wanted to, I could have so.
Glad, Glad you're here. here. If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I only saw her down. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But the mind of motherfuckers took my little girl. Give it to me. If you can help, I'll pay you your debt. And I always pay my debts. So I've already visited the public space. Right, cool. The game started out with four world tiers, now there are five. Division one has five world tiers. I would expect he might add more. It took the Division 1 some time to get five world tiers. Of course, a lot of things that are in Division 1 are in Division 2. Division one. So you let them go? No, I didn't let them go. A couple times a month there are supply drops. We were gonna trade them. I get uh that is what you're gonna do illegally after why you kill them per month. Die. 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 Die.
Blank steak. difficult modes they'll flank you even more.
I'm actually looking for the other bathroom with a hanging cache, but I don't have any keys right now, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I just picked up a uh, P416, but Ogs got more damage.
right there, Kelso? As long as, long as I'm, I'm not breathing, breathing asbestos, asbestos, that blasted a lot of damage. life people don't have body armor. If you shoot them in the head, they're gonna go down. If you shoot them in the shoulder, they're not gonna be able to fire. Turrets are good if you go with the turret. Turrets are real good in the beginning. Seekers are good in the beginning. I found that drones, drones get it done. Shoot the rushers right away. You don't always have an opportunity to look around when you're running missions with other people because they're going to want to get through it fast. But it can be useful to uh, take your time. M16 is pretty much trash.
far as the moment you find gear, you can use it. Don't have to level it up. I'm on the roof, holding for backup. I have eyes on you, Kelso. You see Saint? I don't know what he looks, looks like, like, but there, there are plenty of hostiles up there. there. Not for long. Find them. It's running down a hall towards someone is kind of silly. There's a hanging of cash right there, but I don't have any keys. Could have gotten some keys. Pretty easy to get. Glad you made it. Ready when we're Let's do it. Why does it go off to the left or right? Pretty defensible.
The pacing of the missions is really good too, because you can take these as fast or as slow as you want. Now, knee pads, you want to look out for anything with, with patience. Patience is OP. Patience means you don't need to have armor kits. Otherwise, armor kits are a problem. Eleanor? Your mom, Your mom said, said to, bring to bring you home. home. Are you are hurt? hurt? You know he's gonna run out of armor kits. Who are you? What's, What's going, going on? on? She's, she's in shock. shock. I'll bring, bring her down, down when she's in the room. Let's, Let's meet, meet at the other end. I haven't seen that many people talk about patience, but honestly, ever since I started using them, I've only used maybe one arm again. some armor.
Don't see patience to get the uh, purple. First purple weapon I ever got got me through seven levels of the game. And you would shoot to wound most of the time. Because a wounded soldier ties up his friends. In real life, you wouldn't shoot to kill. It's a little wasteful. Even though it seems like you want to. They don't teach you to shoot to kill in the military, they don't teach you to shoot to wound. Never been in real combat, but the one time I was taught what to do in combat, they were very pointed about shoot to wound, don't shoot to kill. I was in the Air Force. Unless you're a military police, you're not going to see combat. Heads up. We now, we now have a working barbecue. barbecue. So we're barely holding things together. together. What, am what am I supposed, supposed to do? Help, help us. I, I am helping. helping. I, I am helping. helping. Just, Just not, not the, the way, way you want me to. We need you out there. there. Your leg, leg wouldn't, wouldn't stop, stop you. It's, it's not, not about, about that. that. I know it, it isn't. But, but if, if we, we fail, fail. All, right. all right. All right. We could probably spare some people. I'll be, I'll outside. be outside. She, she said, said you did, did your part. part. I won't, I won't forget, forget it. This new hydroponic system, the theater is going to be able to put better pressure food on the table. That will make the residents happier and healthier. Hello, I'm Anaya. I'm going to be helping out at base of operations with equipment fabrication. It's a pleasure to meet you. Crafting is a little irrelevant. 
or their bad batteries. You can always find better gear than you can. We can power our comms. Soon or later, it's up my scrappy gear. So, I think it's irrelevant. Still some useful tech tech there. Anyway, anyway. It can be useful in the beginning of the craft. If the theater isn't too well, we're going to need some more. There's some more problems. Indoors, open up doors, look at doors. Find gear all over the place. Get gear from combat. She locks off. kinds of gear. Go down into uh, manholes, go into ground when you can. It's pretty irrelevant as to what sets I'm going with at this point. I'm just picking better gear. So in the beginning, the only thing you're looking for is armor and health. Prioritize armor over health. Armor is treated as health by the game. Shoot your armor off, you still have health. You don't have very much armor. There's less to shoot off. But they still treat armor as health. You have to walk up to the door to find out you can open it, but I'm 
I've actually got another skill I can unlock. Well, I've got a little shade tech, so, you know, I could do that. want to climb up on things, ladders, climb down ladders, climb up ropes, climb down ropes. Also, control point nearby. Division. Because I've just found, what, two weapons in the last five minutes. And the weapons are money. I can't mod anything yet because I don't have anything I can use to mod. You have to find the mods in the game, but you got those by doing side. Again, getting gear in the division is uh, extremely easy. time to get gear. Some games is a pain in the ass to get gear. Anthem is a pain in the ass to get gear. In an Anthem, when you want to transition from one level of difficulty to the next, it's a real pain in the balls, kids. You'll go from it's trivial to you're getting your ass handed to you on a regular basis. Hostile control point detected. And you might have to slog through four or five days of getting your ass handed to you on a regular basis just so you can get better gear. It's really not the way in the division, it's more subtle in the division. Grass isn't going to get handed to you on a regular basis. You may be a little squishy from time to time, but if you play the game and you do what you should, squishiness is not a problem. Every time I've transitioned from world tier to world tier, I've never felt squishy because I've always been able to get good gear. Nearby. 
And this is a safe house. Fast travel between safe houses. This is the, the only, only place around here that the hyenas didn't dare to touch. touch. This good, good news for you. That's, that's a really interesting, interesting intel here. Looks like you got your hands full. Good, good luck. luck. Shade tech cash detected. And then I would start uh, collecting up shade tech. I already explained and clear this. control points. I already explained this. I don't have the slightest idea how to repair a holographic site. I said, fix it. I can't. I'm a hardware engineer. I can fix computers or tablets. I can't. No matter when you do, the side missions are always a third of a level. Do them early, do them late, doesn't matter, they're a third of a level. Story missions are always the same amount of XP. XP doesn't go up or down with story missions. So, yeah, save your story missions till later, you get more XP. Well, that's really not true, because they're always a third of a level, no matter when you do them. And it really doesn't matter what order you do them in. You're gonna have enough XP to get to level 30. Regardless of when you do the missions. So, it seems like you're getting more if you save them. It seems like if you have a 30% off sale, which you save more money if you buy more stuff. That's really not the case. 30% is 30%. Boy, it is odd AR day. Here, there's a shade tug right here. Kind of trashy. Well, I thought there was a probably a different alley, but I thought there was a manhole. Into and my cat is giving me a hard time. She's not sure why I'm doing this. I've told her, I've told her five times already. When you unlock the perk on a new character to unlock more space in your stash, it actually gives all of your characters more space. Could be a bug, could be a defect, I don't know. They might fix it someday. Could be. Maybe it's not as intended, I don't know.
slightest idea how to repair a holographic site. Alright, so I'm probably gonna clear the next control point. Because there will be gear. Probably should. Well, see, the problem with this uh, control point right. here is they'll send in reinforcements from nearby activities. But. I am just going to run over here. So I want to check. Portable oh, electronic device detected. detected. With this room, I can never get into. And they're Priority still message up. to all active duty agents. The individual responsible for the creation and release of the smallpox variola chimera virus, also known as the dollar flu or the green poison, has been identified as Dr. Gordon Amherst. Amherst's body has been found and identified. Post mortem shows that he died of his own disease. End message. Civilians in distress. come from inside the control point. Heavily armored hostile detected. Oh, <laughs> 
Funrus is good for AR builds. But in the beginning, it really doesn't matter. Just pick armor. Yeah, resources, and then you'll have Agent in need of a skill once you unlock it with Shade Tech. I won't have it unlocked yet on this character. We're, We're good, good on, on supplies. supplies. Doesn't matter what I give him. Give him stuff, don't give him stuff. Get XP, and that's about it. Clearing that control point gives me access to uh the shade tech without combat. Otherwise it doesn't matter. I'd end up being in combat anyway. 
Might as well clear the control point. Guarding location nearby. had difficulty with the demolition site in the beginning, so I generally bypass it. <clears throat> we don't have to clear them. It's just gear.
control point nearby. You can pretty easily run past NPCs as long as they don't see you. Portable device detected. Got all that crap here. Look around for God's sake. I am. Do you know what I see? What? Nothing. Ever says nothing. All gone. We think we can restore it, but it's gone. Maybe someone's crying because we're experiencing something close to what we used to have for you and me, but it's fucking nothing. And you think that's a high on that shit? Well, it's four shade tucks. I think I am going to uh, go back to home base and unlock some perks and end this particular video. <laughs> They're not outcast. Oh, I get one more. Fenris does have AR damage.
So I think I'm going to unlock as my next one is going to probably be the gem launcher. Gem launcher oxidizer. Hey, Alright, this is one more, so... Might as well get it. Secure the area and search for any surviving members of the community that's been residing here.
missions whenever you want. It doesn't really matter. get in the back of that truck. Where you want to be is in the back of this truck. It's got cover on three sides. Anytime you can get cover on three sides, it's good stuff. There are several that are not on the map, but you can get information on the internet about that. Today is tax day for me in the United States.
over here. You hear me? Alright, so I got another skill I can unlock to do the story mission. Um, I usually use seeker mines and drones together. That can be really good. Restore or hive can also be good in the beginning, so. Or the reviver hive can be good. When it works. Stingers can also be good, but I think I'm going to go with Reviver. But it works. When it doesn't work, you die. Feel proficiency cash half the time you get an extra item. That can be good. Armor kits can be good until you get patience. So I think I'm going to go with uh, field proficiency, which I can't until level 30. Well, there you go. So uh, restock armor kits. More inventory. Uh, detection is good. Also, you're going to want mods for weapons. Let's go with the armor kits. It'll be a while until I can get patience. It seems, it seems I, I have, have the equipment, equipment I need. I'm, I'm eager, eager to get, get started. started. Well, that looks like they just gave me some stuff. Let me see if I can mod weapons. With something. Don't have that yet, but I do have accuracy. And I have a lot of vamp rate. Accuracy. So I have some mods. Modulus. And almost a full set of gear, so we really need gloves. So I guess if I can make some uh, some blue gloves, which I cannot, because there's a story mission I haven't done yet. But I can make a blue uh, backpack. So let's see if I can do that. It's so tiny. That's more armor. Do 
Don't have any utility system mods yet. Uh, well, I can color my stuff. I generally sell weapons, everything else. I, cra I grind up for crafting materials. That would give me skill power. I'm gonna just do that. Although, you, know, you generally trade skill power for damage until you get the right gear items. I think I can make a holster. Not an electronics, so I would need to go out and find more electronics. I'm going to do that. Let me be your one stop shop. Sell weapons for money. Although, it can be useful to make weapons in the beginning. I don't think I have any I can make right now, though. weapons. Story missions, or not story missions, but side missions are where you get weapons and other things you can craft. So I'm just going to sell stuff that I'm not using. Build my inventory. Thank, Thank you. Glad I've got, got that set up. Put my other uh, skill on in case it works. Alright, well, that's the end of this video. Be sure to catch me streaming on Twitch at Cappy Smack. And once again, the show has been brought to you by Cappy Smack. Speakers of Cappy Smack. Now it's time to do taxes. Eat lunch.